In this video I will tell you what types of glasses exist for a teleprompter, how they differ, how to change the glass for a teleprompter and why it should be changed at all. First, I'll explain you the difference between ordinary glass and specialized glass for teleprompter. There are three prompters. Here we specifically cut the glass from the window. And here's the Pixaro glasses. So, what's the difference if we look at regular glass? It doubles the text too much. It happens because the light reflects from the front of the glass and from the back. You see two images. In teleprompters are used glasses with a special optical coating that reflects a part of the light. And we see almost only a picture which reflects from the front of the glass. So the text doesn't double. But there are different types of glasses for teleprompter, depending upon amount of light which reflects the coating. Here we have three types of glasses. 70-30, 60-40 and 50-50. Let's make an experiment and compare what is the difference between them. Now we shoot through the standard glass 70-30, which is included in the standard set of the teleprompter. And now without a teleprompter at all, settings on the camera are fixed. The light in the camera passes a bit more, the picture has become brighter. Through 50-50 glass light passes less and the picture has become much darker. Now let's test the difference of the brightness of the text reflects in the teleprompter on each type of the glass. Exposure is captured, we specially highlighted the background and you can see the phone in frame on purpose. And you can see that camera settings haven't changed. So, you can mention that only brightness of the text has changed. We have tested only two types of glass. 70-30, which is bundled. The lightest one, but the less contrasting one. And 50-50, the most contrasting one, but the darkest one. If you need, we have another medium glass, 60-40, which properties are between these two. If you're shooting in the studio like we are now, and if your camera isn't light sensitive or you don't have enough light, you will need to make maximum amount of light fall on your matrix. In this case you need a glass 7030, which supplies in the standard set of the teleprompter Pixaro Mobus. But if suddenly you shoot in the bright sun, and you need a lot of text brightness to see the text enough, we recommend that you use the glass 50-50. It reflects much more, but on the other hand, there will be less light fall on the matrix. Plus, our teleprompter is a glass changes quickly enough, and we will show you how to do that in the end of this video. And if necessary, you can replace the glass. In what cases else you may need glass replacement? Our prompter small, compact and it convenient to take with you to shooting. Imagine you came to the shooting, start to shoot, someone elbow you accidentally or something happened, the prompter falls and the glass is broken. What you should do in this situation? Of course we need to change the glass. For mobile teleprompter glass is expendable and it should always be in receive if you get into serious shooting. Take the glass out of the bag in this box and make a replacement. Shooting continues. If you don't have a Pixaro teleprompter then it will be difficult for you because all the Chinese teleprompters on the market have a glass attached to plastic snaps, which does not allow to change the glass. Firstly, searching of the glass will be unlikely for you. They don't sell them separately. Secondly, even if you find such glass somewhere, these latches will break down. In our prompter you only need to unscrew this attachment plate, replace the glass, them all are made of metal and securely fastened. 
Let's now move on to installing and replacing the glass. The whole procedure is very quickly. Replacing the glass for teleprompter Pixar is a piece of cake. You ought to unscrew the attachment plate with a cross screwdriver and open a replacement glass pack. You should try to hold the side surface while glass installing, that you keep it clean, but if you couldn't clean it with a microfiber which completed with prompter. The glass functions correctly, you should pay attention to the red mark. It ought to be on the back side. Screw the attachment plate. The teleprompter is ready to go. To summarize this video, I'd like to say once again, use only high-quality professional glasses that doesn't double the text, which pass maximum light on the camera and which are made of optical glass. It's very important that the glass doesn't distort the color. Because if you put on your good quality expensive lens glass which either distort the color of even worse plastic glass with a plastic coating, you will just kill the quality. Also you can maybe face other problem that we considered in this video. Glass is always available, please contact us. They are supplied here in a box which is protected from damages that you can take it with you to the shooting.